And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for our second random champion deck of the day. We got Swain Darius. So Swain and Darius are both Noxus champions. So when building the deck, we could really pair Noxus with any other region because we have that freedom here. Usually we have two champions in different regions. And so then we have to play those two regions and it makes our life easy. This one, you know, we had the freedom to build how we want. And I decided to go to with Bilgewater because Bilgewater just pairs so well with Swain um, with how you need to do 12 non-combat damage to level up Swain. And of course, we want to be doing damage to the enemy Nexus. Bilgewater is good at both of those, especially the non-combat damage. We got Krusty Codger dealing two each time we play. That's going to really help level up our Swain. And then Fortune Croaker, same thing, getting the two damage in. Like Those are a couple of cards that really help out. Um, also going with a couple copies of Dreadway Deckhand here for the Powder Kegs, where we can have Powder Keg Make It Rain, or Powder Keg Death's Hand, Powder Keg uh, Ravenous Flock, that kind of stuff as well. We also get Spray Fin for some, some card draw um, that also gets us some good spells. And so hopefully with all this stuff, we're going to be doing Nexus damage. Got a couple Demolitionists doing Nexus damage, um, and just non-combat damage in general, right? Level up the Swain, and then once Swain leveled up, we need it. Uh, Nexus damage. So City Breaker is a card that's just a pet card of mine. I really like it. We're playing one copy of City Breaker in here. Uh, Monster Harpoon is another option to get more removal, but I really like City Breaker because round start stun is awesome with Swain. You know, City Breaker is just like mini Leviathan with Swain can be really good. 1-5 is a pretty decent blocker. And that one damage every single round really does add up. Of course, we want them to get to at least 10 by round 6. Get 10 damage in, so then our Darius will be a 10-6 Overwhelm. So hopefully we have that. Darius is just kind of like our... We're only playing two Leviathans instead of three, because Darius is just kind of our other top-end thing. Usually when you play Swain decks, you play three Swain, three Leviathan. But we're only going two because... Because usually you, like those are like your only cards that cost like five plus mana, like units-wise. But since we got all three Darius in here at six, we're dropping a Leviathan because we want to keep this low curve. We're also able able to fit sentry flock combo in here flock is just awesome with swain a lot of damage um and so that works out with sentry but then it can also help with like make it rain um and just attacking and blocking can enable flock all right so let's get to it let's play some swain darius we're gonna go play five games Okay, we have Zareth Zillion. How good is Make It Rain going to be against Zareth Zillion? They're going to have, like, Rock Hopper. And actually, they're probably, there's probably the 1 mana 2 1 also. So, yeah, they're probably the 1 mana 2 1 and Rock Hopper. So, Make It Rain could be good. So, I think about just keeping all this. I could see sending Swain back. But since we already have, like, this other cheap stuff, we'll just keep all this. Well, we can flock our own Krusty Codger. Alright, Sentry Flock Combo. That's really that great for me. Actually, I'll just pass. It's a really good card to have here. Don't like doing that. But such is life. Haven't I been here before? 
Keep up, keep up. So there are fourteen. Let's get to it. Just a moment. Getting down to ten. All right, just in case they have a second time bomb. Go ahead and take out Zillion, I suppose. All right. They still do the Nexus damage, but the other parts would have leveled up Swain, so but still Swain's eight out of twelve. A Ravenous Flock would make it. Well, Okay, so I'm hoping to uh, hoping to get like a Swain attack in. Could have done this at the end of last round, which I guess I should have. I wanted to see what what I drew though to see if there was anything better than this. Hoping to have leveled up Swain and stun because. Played the Swain there for just for like the mana so that we were able to like make it rain. Stun, demolition is stun, and then you know, depending on what we drew, like we could have needed the extra mana depending on what we what we drew. Explosive minefields not helping out though. Down to six. Worthless. They only have two cards. We have gotten rid of a lot of cards from them. Of course, I'm only down two cards also, but we're closer to killing them. If they don't break, they'll burn. Yeah, Darius would be a great top deck. Unless they would be able to blow up their minefield, of course. So we got three of their four time bombs and all three ancient hourglass. Sure. Alright, Leviathan. Let's draw Leviathan. Place. Yeah, they got a good setup. They drew pretty well. <laughs> Talk about luck, chat says. Yeah, we haven't had any luck today. Not yet. There we go. We got some luck, though. Leviathan. That was the card that I said that we needed for luck purposes. Now, really hoping that these two cards aren't multiple blow-up landmarks, and then Zareth, you know, because if it is, then Zareth kills Leviathan. Alright, that's a good sign. I mean, so far, they still have two cards, but board's filled up. That's a good sign. So you had to complain about not having any luck for us to have some luck. <laughs> right? That's how it works.
All right, that should be game. Now, then, or soon. Oh no, theirs happens first. Oh no, never mind. Theirs happens first. Oh, so we're just dead. We're just dead. Never mind. They had to have all three Ancient Hourglass, too. <laughs> They're both their champions on round two, round four, all three Ancient Hourglass. Because if they just don't have that third Ancient Hourglass, we can kill the Zareth if we win that game. So landmarks again, this one's going to be more aggressive. I think this is better for us to face. Alright, good. Found one. Likely they play Rock Hopper, but you never know. Maybe they don't have it. Even if they do have Rock Hopper, it just trades with the Grenadier. And we still deal two damage to them anyway. Okay. Or they have Zillion. Still just give us <coughs> two damage. Never mind. Three damage. Alright, so we got an extra point of damage in by playing the Grenadier before combat. Basically, do I do I play you know like deckhand fortune croaker before attacking, or do I just attack? Zig Talia, like what are they like? They could play like another endless devout. Like let's say they have just have like another endless devout. I think that's about as good of a blocker as they're gonna have. We could play like two more of these. They block one. We deal two. Kind of want to just deal the damage. Let's maybe go this route. Little booms are just as good as big ones. Victory at any cost. Oh god. <laughs> Wanna see what it does? What now? All right, so we have the same number of cards in hand, but they got this sarcophagus in play. Good card. Okay, Swain's leveled up. Got a surprise for him. Warp them down to five. Hey, sleep death. Hey, I am feeling great. Do they have? Yeah, they have room for both. One Roiling Sands. So I kind of want to play Spray Fin, but I don't love Spray Fin being the vulnerable because it, you know, Spray Fin is the elusive. This Wayne can be vulnerable. Lead us to victory, Grand General.
Whoa, Darius. 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 Oh, I'm going to get him. Just run while you can. They should thank you for the key. Alright, what you got for me? Another flock. Let's go, Darius. Hopefully, they don't have ex explosive minefield. I have my orders. My favorite. Life steal and elusive. <sighs> I guess when your name is the Arsenal, you get the best Arsenal. All right, so they have to block the they have to block Darius with the Arsenal. So they do that. They take three overwhelm, but then gain eight. So they take so they gain five. So they go to ten. The Legion waits. None shall oppose me. It just doesn't make sense to attack with the Swain. That's what I'm trying to figure out if we want to attack with the Swain or not. I mean, I guess I could and play New Swain. That's not a 4 2 and vulnerable. Watch it, Bozo. Why couldn't I have that card last game? Or last round, <laughs> you know. Could have stunned the arsenal. I just can't wait. Here we go. Did somebody say explosives? All right, so I can stun that right now, but I am at 16. So can we just take the hit instead of stunning that right now, and then stun it next round? So I'm just not going to be able to attack in with Swain, probably. So kill that, kill that, stun that. They still have the 4-4 to block. Alright, I guess let's let's do the, this this round and save a little bit of life. Yeah, it does 10 by itself. Alright, so with them attacking with the 4-4, that means they only have Ziggs as a blocker. So if we draw, like, Warning Shot off the top. We don't have Warning Shot on our deck, but if we drew it. Another Fearsome Blocker. Time Bomb is the reason why I didn't do the damage to the Spray Fin. With Fortune Croaker, that is. Again, Life Steal and Scout and Spell Shield. Because I can't. Yeah, can't do anything about that card. 
Man, the arsenal is messed Omega up. It's unlikely that our opponent's going to play the arsenal against us. With it being Caitlyn Draven, so I, I like that. The flock kills both champions, but we had to find, you know, another damage source. First. Best card, of course, is Arachnoid Sentry. Makes sense playing the Codger, because if I play Grenadier, Grenadier is going to trade with the Baboon, but might as well just have Codger trade with the Baboon. We get to save the one mana so that if we do draw a Sentry right here, we can Sentry Flock a Champion. How about that? Like, we know they're playing a champion here, probably Draven, but I don't want to... That's Caitlyn. I didn't really want to pass the round, even though we could have... You know, if this would have worked out, just like this, we would have dealt another three damage to them, which could be really important. However, I think that if I pass the round, they also just take the pass, right? So I don't think... I think we would have dealt zero damage to them if I would have passed. Can I get some champions? Keep up, keep up. Let's do this. Okay, six mana. Two, five, six. Thank you. I appreciate the champion. My thinking is play this. Waiting, you know, around just to get an extra point of damage in on something. My beautiful face. There's plenty of killing left. So they're down to nine. They could have gotten a blocker with the flame chompers if they wanted, but they did not want to, it looks like. Their deck's gonna have a lot of answers for Darius. Gonna, you know, like deal damage to it, then like Mystic Shot, Ravenous Flock, Mystic Shot, Scorched Earth, you know, that kind of stuff. They're gonna they're gonna have a lot of answers, but I just gotta hope they don't. They don't have them for some reason. Do y'all think they have Whirling Death? I sure hope not. It's... Okay, awesome. We get the win there. I was going to say, it could be the safe play just to make sure that that happens and just go down to two because Whirling Death is just such a problem. So Darius getting us a win. They're Bandle City, so they could have the Arsenal, but it's probably unlikely. <laughs> we could face the arsenal again. I'm gonna keep this hand. Death hand for mayor. 
They're a Tristana deck, so they're going to be relying on Mayor. So we want to kill the Mayor, and then having this combination for one of the champions. Hopefully Poppy. Killing Poppy, that is. Yeah, I said Arsenal's how Victor should have been. I know, right? What if Victor was just, you know, 8 mana... And it gets a keyword for each created card you have played this game. On it and on him. Oh, All right, I guess I'm playing killing that thing instead of mayor. Ah, I still have mayor. This requires my largest official hat. Yeah, that's basically it. Our, our chances come down, dude. Do they do they have the arsenal? Yeah, I really like that idea too. So there's an idea uh, that somebody here in chat has that they, I think they said they got it from, from somebody on Reddit, but uh, that the hex core upgrades for Victor, the hex core upgrades affect all Victors everywhere. I think that that's a, that's a really good buff to, like that's, that's a good change. I think that's a really good healthy buff for Victor. You don't have to start over. And then you know how like, you have a Victor in play, you create the Hex Core upgrade, or sorry, sorry, you, you play Victor, you create the Hex Core upgrade, they kill your Victor, and then you, you can't even play that Hex Core upgrade anymore, right? Because that Victor's gone. Well, if it affected all of them everywhere, you could still play that Hex Core upgrade and just have your next Victor have that random keyword. I think that's a good idea. For just making Victor just a little better. I don't think it would make Victor overpowered or anything like that. I think it would make it a little better, though. It's just one out of... One out of four. Hello, cruel world! This is outrage! Five, six, seven, eight. Gosh, it's taking a lot. But why? You started without me. Do we get flock? Oh, didn't quite get flock. That would have made this perfect having a flock right there. Well, there's a flock. Let's do this. Gonna open attack. I'm frowning. Eh, now we'll just trade. Please don't have mini morph. I just know that That's a good sign. That should be game. Ready, Hammer? It is I. Why are you here? Why do we live here. We can't fire. Unless they have like zero mana, deal a bunch of damage. To, Le to the Leviathan. Alright, two and two. Back to 500. GG's.
Okay, Shadow Isles PNZ. I don't know exactly what that's going to be. I guess that rhymed. Uh, so, there's a few different options of what this could be. We'll kind of see what it is. We'll just keep one mana cards. Usually good to keep one mana cards. I'm tempted to to pass and not not play anything, and then next round play Codger. They play something. I make it rain to enable plunder. Then I butcher. Then I butcher at three as three threes. Yeah, I think we're doing that. I guess I should wait. I, yeah, because now they're at 20. They could be at 19 if I waited. I... I Yeah, I should have just waited. Alright, so they could have been one less damage. Alright, so this is looking like a control deck, so I wish I would have kept the other spray fin. No, 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 my spray fin. Brave so good against control, they got so many cards and I don't. I have seven cards over there and I have one. Well, Spray Fin's worth seven cards, right? Probably. So tough choice. If I make it rain right now, we level up Darius, or I let them get their 1-1 one, one first and then make it rain so they don't have that blocker. But then we don't level up Darius. It's a tough choice. Blocker with the level up or no blocker? Let's go no blocker. What's up, Maximus? I'm doing good. How are you doing? Hard to get rich. Just kill me. They have Withering Whale. Ooh, not Withering Whale. All right, good. Is that lethal? That should be lethal, right? Yeah. I guess Withering. Yeah, because Withering Whale would have kept them alive at any of you, but. All right, how about that? We have done well. Noxus is proud. All right, so we ended up. Three and two with Swain Darius. Good record. And it started off a little rocky playing against a couple different Arsenal decks that had really good hands and, and ended up getting us with Arsenals at the top end. But after that, uh, you know, we ended up getting all three wins, a couple of close ones. Uh, but we got to put the game away with Leviathans and Darius. Got to win with both of those top end cards. And yeah, so this was kind of just like a, a Twisted Fate Swain kind of deck. But just using Darius, I guess, instead of Twisted Fate. I guess you can kind of think of it like that. Unfortunately, we didn't get to do anything cool with City Breaker. Just only had that as a one-of. Didn't get to do anything super cool with that. But uh, I liked I liked how it felt. I liked Darius as an attacker at the top end. And, you know, the deck was pretty good. Because as we know, Twisted Fate Swain's pretty good. And this was just kind of another variation of that deck. Probably not as good as that deck. But it's random champion day, right? You know, uh, so as far as Darius decks go, this is probably one of the stronger Darius pairings that we could probably get because uh, this was a good Darius deck. We were able to, um, you know, deal good amount of damage to the Nexus for Darius and play a little bit longer games and have some card draw in here to help us find Darius. We were, we were a pretty decent Darius deck. All right. So that's going to be it here though for Swain Darius. So those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And as always leave those comments and let me know what you think of the deck. Hopefully y'all enjoyed it. Uh, but that's it for this random champion deck. We got a couple of more to go. Our next one's going to be Katarina Zareth.
that one's going to be a little crazy than action fizz so uh come on back for those ones but that's going to be it for swain Darius. so as always thank you so much for watching and i'll see you for the next video